So welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but this one is a big one. I can tell you that. So in today's video, I have to do a few things. As you can see on my list, it's clean the car when done, check battery, check or put petrol tank back. That's standing over there in the back, I think. Yeah, that's the petrol tank. Um, bleed brake lines, replace filters, um, and just a whole other thing to do. And the main thing is to get rid of this gap over here and drop it out to like fill there somewhere. This is probably not going to be in one video everything because it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to try my best. Um, amazing goal would be to actually get the car running by the end of the day. But I don't think that will happen. So what happened was um, the car bugged or like bogged in first gear the whole time. I think I'm out of focus actually. Yeah, I was out of focus. Is this on? Oh. Okay, well, that should work. <laughs> I'm focused now. But the car bugged, or bugged the whole time, and yeah, I don't know. Just in the first gear, you put your foot down, nothing happens. The car just like jumps forward, and then eventually it floods. Now, it sounds like a fuel related issue. The car was set 100%. So, we cleaned the fuel lines or we have to do that, Put, pull the petrol tank out and I gotta clean that um, and do everything fuel related on the car. So that's gotta go back and then I'm doing the rear suspension, putting new shocks in, dropping the rear and going from there. So yeah, we'll see how it goes I guess. Okay, so we got the car on the jack stands. As you can see one there, one there. The whole car is in the wall, rear of the car is on jack stands now so the whole rear of the car is in the air. Um, now we're just trying to get this exhaust off. It's quite hard to get those bolts. And then we're going to put the old one back while the original VW Beetle exhaust had to that. Just because, um, let me just put the camera. Yeah. Just because um, of clearance issues we're having when we're dropping the car because that exhaust will scrape on the ground, the one we have on the moment. So to drop the car, um, we need to put the original exhaust tile back so it doesn't scrape on the ground or anything. So we're just trying to get the exhaust off now um, to get the new one on, or the old one, but anyway. So we're just struggling because the exhaust normally slides over each other, but this one is welded together because of the exhaust leaks we had previously. So now we're just cutting it in half because we're not using it again. So yeah, I'll show you guys how it's going. So we made a lot of progress now, um, got the spring axle plate off at the back, axle laying on the side, um, just have to remove the plate now and ratchet strap the arm up so that it doesn't, <laughs> so that it doesn't pop off and yeah, I'll show you guys what my dad's doing in the front, I have no idea what he's doing, so a lot of mess and just camera has to focus yeah so just the plate because it's all rusty uh, I don't know if you can see it yeah if you go down there you can see the rust but here at the back you can see I'm busy with that plate I have to ratchet strap that arm up so that arm connects to that just to lift it up from that piece over there so I'll zoom in now that piece of there. I mean this whole assembly is disconnected here. So that should make I and mean, then we basically just angle that plate two or three splines up and that'll give us a approximately nine centimeter drop at the rear. And I have to do the same the other side. Okay, so update, we are winning currently, I think, I hope. Um, not done or nearly done with a checklist. Um, still got a lot of stuff to do. I don't think it's one thing marked off yet. We got the exhaust off, um, got one plate off for the torsion bar, that's the left side, still have to do the complete right side of the car. Front plates are almost fitted and that's a lot of rust, yeah, it's some rust art we get from the car. Um, fuel lines still need to be cleaned, petrol tank still needs to be cleaned, um, yeah, then the filters needs to go on and and and, brakes need to be bleed. Um, Still got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I have no idea. Okay. 
really. It's not like coilovers or anything, so it's quite difficult to judge how far you actually drop for core. So the left side might be lower than the right side or other way around, so it's not that easy. But yeah, I'll try my best to get it to match. So as you can see, I marked that torsion bar that has the splines on it. And basically the plate that goes there has splines on the inside. And then you just rotate that upwards so that the whole axle assembly goes on top of that and then just aims up and that's how you drop the core. What are you doing here? She wants to go outside. Over here we just have all the tools. The new exhaust is going on and by new I mean pretty much original old exhaust but yeah and then the tires. This side we have the old bushings for the torsion bar plate. They actually look quite decent. I don't know how long they've been in there. Um, or as well as the bump stop there, then the new shocks and the old shocks. Okay, so once again I'm back. Sorry if I haven't been doing a good job at filming because I've been busy working my ass off to get everything done. But um, we like mounted up the rear wheel on the left. More or less, not how it's going to look, I don't know how it's going to look, but just to see if there's clearance issues and or if a bump stops, how they need to be cut and everything to like work as a nice golf. But I'll show you guys how it looks and it looks sick actually. So this is just how it looks more or less. Just on a jack at the moment. But funny enough, it does not hit. I don't know if you can see it as well. But it's like it goes in there. So it won't rub. It's quite nice. And underneath just the axle everything you're gonna have to delete that bar that bar over there you're gonna have to delete that and then from this angle you can see the camber really nice tucks in there perfectly but it has nice camber if I go even more back you can see how nice that'll look I think that'll be perfect okay so it's been a while we did a few things we put the old exhaust back on while well, still doing a few bolts there but i think we don't know that um we removed a few bump stops in the rear just to allow more travel in the rear for yeah this, these things um yeah uh, it's pretty much useless anyway so then we put the spring plates back they're not tightened yet but like they're back in place with the angled up so I think we're like that should give me around about 10 to 12 centimeters of drop so that's quite a lot um, I hope it works I hope both left and right is the same that's the main problem you can't really like judge it like coilovers so the left side might be higher than the right side and other way around so I hope that doesn't happen but I won't know until I put it on so let's see so as you can see underneath here you can't see now you can see there's our plate now now this one still needs to go a little bit in as you can see there's a lot bigger gap previously it was hanging below that gap so yeah I hope this and then we just have to bolt everything on we also sprayed the plate so that's new and then as for the exhaust as you can see you can't really see it but in the back it's like the original style going all the way through with those boxes but it actually looks quite nice if you look at from the rear you can see except for the chassis being skewed for some reason but yeah we don't have a tail pieces for those actually so you're just gonna run it straight out of the box okay so it's now six I started at like how late was it nine o'clock no ten o'clock no, nine, it was nine. Yeah, I started at nine o'clock and it's now six, so the whole day has passed. I'm not done yet. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to get done in one day because that is a thing, a 15 thing checklist. Yeah, it was a very long checklist. I think we did about seven, no, yeah, seven things, I think. Um, so we, we came quite far. I uh, got the spring plates back on now, so basically just need to bolt up the bump stops, the axle and the shocks put in the new shocks and everything and then put the wheels on and I think that's it and then also the fuel tank is struggling to go back in I think there's something blocking it from going back in 
That is an R8. That is very nice. So it's a new day. I've started putting everything together now just to bolt everything up. Don't know what's going on with my hair, but let's just ignore that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bolt everything up today. Hopefully get the car on the ground. And then still have to find a few things with the petrol tank and the fuel lines and hopefully that solves the problem for the bogging in first gear. As well as when you put your foot flat, it starts to like bog at high revs. I don't know exactly what's going on. Sounds like a fuel problem. We'll see if it's a fuel problem. If not, then back to the drawing board, project of illumination and yeah, just take it from there, I guess. So basically got the new shocks, a bump stop and free bolts there. And I just need to put that free bolt, I don't know if you can see it, around there. That thing there. Yeah. Free bolts go there, bump stop goes from there, to bump there. And I just need to find out how I'm gonna make the bump stop so it doesn't hit that when the car's on the ground. So I got the wheels back on. Um, it's looking amazing. Both are like hanging with a 10 centimeter drop which is quite impressive because at the starting point um, when the car was on the ground it had a 10 centimeter gap. So think about it this way. It looks like the previous fitment but in the air if that makes sense. So it's not even with a full load of a car on top of the wheels. So I have no idea how low this is going to be, but it's, it's going to be quite low, I can tell you that. So this is a car with the wheels in the air. As you can see, that looks like the previous fitment I had, and it's quite big to be honest. It's the same this side. Both are like exactly the same, so I judged that actually quite well. Okay, so that's a wrap for cars on the ground. Still need to do the petrol things, but I'll get to that another day or later today or whenever. But I'll show you guys more or less how it looks at the moment. Not gonna lie, this is a lot lower than I wanted to go. So this car is slammed at the moment. But um, I'll drive around of it once the car's running again, feel how it feels. Um, if I don't like it, I can always repeat this process and just lower it the spline or two. So, or yeah, well, lower the plate. So you know what I mean. So at the moment you can see this fitment is very, very, very aggressive. It's got camber for days and the rear of the car is so low that Batman is hanging from the ground now. You can't really see much. That's like a three finger gap down there. First time I rolled the car I'd already scraped this thing, that thing over there. No, that's not even that high. I mean, how high is that? So yeah. But it looks insane though.